It's 2020. You got to bring your dog to the vet. They have to wait. We're going to give you tips. Ivor, really. We're going to give you tips on what to do with your dog while you're hanging out in the car. Stay tuned. Ready, creep. Really? Good boy. All done. Yes. So we are waiting back. Ivor Crate at the vet with Serenity. Get her shot. It's been one month. All done. I got Ivor with me. And here we're just hanging out because back. This is the new norm. Crate. This is what you do at the vet nowadays. <laughs> So, I have a crate. I'm just practicing some training. Yes, good boy. Because what else are you going to do? And this is a great opportunity to do something with your dog. Is there any paw? Yes, good girl. I have a sit. Paw. Yes, good job you two. So this is stuff I used to do, waiting at the vet. I would just do this inside in the vet office, but now I'm just doing this in my van. So any paw, because I've always said, yes, the vet is a great opportunity to do training with your dog because you don't want your dog to get scared. You don't want your dog to get nervous. Back up, paw, yes. You just want to teach them the fun things they know. The, the training that you do with them. That's the communication stuff we talk about. Serenity. Yes. So you work on your name. I have a van, so I have some space. Ivor, sit. Good boy. Ivor, down. So I can do a couple little things with him. Ivor, ready? Spin. Yes. But that's what this is about. I would be doing the same thing if we were in the vet. Ivor, crate. I'd be practicing things with him. All done. And lie down. In these moments, it's all off of the association. So if my dogs hang out with me, do stuff with me in a place that they're unsure, and then I translate that same concept to doing stuff with me in my van, and then I have, now I have to give her to someone to to go get her shot. But what it is, it's the downtime, it's the waiting. It's not letting your dog get nervous in the car when you're hanging out because they kind of know where, where they are. It's just doing stuff with them. Serenity, yes. So practice your dog's name, reward them. Ivor, yes. Practice some obedience. Ivor, sit. Yes. Practice some management stuff if you guys are using the crate at the house. Ivor, crate. Down. So this is advanced stuff we're doing right here. I told him to do something, he didn't do it. I pointed, go down, he's not doing it. So I just wait. If I say the word again, what's the point? He's going to do it if I told him, but I already told him to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset him. All done. Oh boy. Ivor Crate. He goes in there. Watch. Down. Good boy. You break that down into like each piece, the crate and then laying down. All done. That's a great training <laughs> moment right there. My dog didn't listen to me. Do I repeat the command? No. I know he knows it, so I'm just going to reset him. We're just hanging out in my van. This is just learning opportunity right now. You want to try it again? I have a crate. My goal is to recondition him to lay down, but I have to help him with that. Down. Yes, so I'll break it into two parts. All done. Three parts. I release them. So that's what it is. So here's a little update. We're just hanging out at the vet. We're waiting. Serenity is patiently waiting. Ivor is antsy waiting because he wants to do stuff. And that's what this is about. I'm just going to do stuff with him hanging out. So a little training tip for you. Do stuff with your dog in your car. Have some fun. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed that training tip. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you can get more videos when they come out. Head on over to DCSDogs.com where I have some special training tip videos to share with you. It comes with a free home guide where I give gear recommendations of how to keep your dog busy at home. DCSDogs.com. Thanks everyone and see you next time.